friends, in this lesson, we learned about balanced meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We learned about why it's important to drink plenty of water throughout the day. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the directions in your workbook. For this lesson, you all will need to complete pages eight, nine, and 10 in your workbooks, and remember to turn them in once you're done. We're going to look at the dinner menu choices, and you're going to plan a balanced dinner using the five out of five food model by picking items from the dinner menu. Once you've selected your items, write your items under the My Dinner section. Go ahead and press pause right here in the video to give you some time to select your dinner menu choices. Once you've finished, we're gonna go ahead and move on to question number one. Does your dinner complete the five out of five food model? If yes, mark it with an X. If no, mark it with a no. Question number two. If yes, great job. If no, what menu items could you add to make your dinner balanced? Page nine, you all are doing a great job. For page nine, question one, what are the three out of five food group groupings? Go ahead and write those in. Once you're done, go ahead and move on to the next section. We're going to plan a balanced breakfast using the three out of five food model by choosing items from the breakfast menu choices. Once you've selected your items, go ahead and write them under the My Breakfast section. This is a perfect place to press pause to give you some time to write out your breakfast. Now, let's move on to question number two. Is your breakfast a complete three out of five breakfast? If yes, mark it with an X. If no, mark it with an X. Question number three, if it is, great job. If no, how could you change your choices to make your breakfast a complete three out of five food model approved breakfast? Page 10. There are two questions that you will need to answer. For question one, you're going to set two goals below that will help you eat a balanced meal every day. The examples they wrote of a goal are, I will talk with my parents about breakfast every morning and trade foods to make it balanced. Another example, I will add one food group food to my breakfast each morning until it is always balanced. Go ahead and write your two goals. Once you're done, go ahead and move on to question number two and answer, why is moderation important? Once you're done with workbook pages eight, nine, and 10, remember to turn them in to get credit. And we will see you for our next lesson.